Greetings everyone, Wolf here with another episode of Minecraft 1.14. Actually, as of right now, we're in 1.14.2. It has officially been released. Alright, let's get to work here. Now, one of the things I want to do, since uh, we're now working in the 14.2 world, and I still have some more work to do around, as you can tell from last episode, I want to get uh, this portal system into place because uh, I'm going to take it out from over there. That was just a temporary one for right now. And what I want to do is I'm going to put the, the actual portal system right here in the central circle that we originally had designed. As you can tell, I already marked out a little bit of the floor uh, with this cobblestone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the center section up one level. So what I need to do is actually take out all of this floor and uh, raise it one, one level, at least here. And then I'm going to replace this floor with uh, wooden planks. All right, let me get to work on Now that the floor is all in place, and uh, I started getting the actual portal into place, I wanted to create a facade of it using an X design somewhere along its face to help hide, of course, the portals. Um, I don't like just stick, sticking a portal on and just leaving it as a, as a portal like you know I did with the temporary one over there. I like to try to put faces and stuff on that. So this is kind of the concept design that I came up with for the face of the portal system itself. All right, let's look about how to build this thing real quick. The first thing we need to do is we're going to come up four blocks in front of the portal. So one, two, three, and four on both sides, like so. Okay, and then next we're going to use polished andesite, first block here, two unpolished, and then we'll go with oops, polished there again. To help create the base of the tower, though, we're actually going to come around starting from the portal, bend it around, and then bend it here so we show a little bit of this polished uh, in a site. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, like so. Now, you see just only a small portion of this polished in a site will actually show through here on this portion. And then now we need to go up. And what we're going to do from here, come back to place. See what I'm talking about how I fall? Come on, get up there. Okay, so next up, we're going to put in the uh, little spacer sections that I have section here. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go one, two, three, and four because we're going to have a right side stair, upside down stair. That's going to be upside down stair, right side up stair like that. All right, so the formation is going to look like that an E or backwards E or three kind of we'll do the same thing on this side since I didn't put it in place just quite yet we'll pull in here there there and there just like so so that we have again that like little three or E section all right now 
easy enough from here, we're just going to create a small uh, outward cropping system. Let's put you right, yeah. Come on, get up here. My fingers are not doing too good today for some reason. No, no big deal. Okay, so that's in place now. Let's get up top here. This is why the scaffolding block is so cool, because I can just do what I need to do. Let's go about this way. Yeah, let's go right over here. And then we're going to take these stone brick walls, and I'm going to go two up on these three stairs. And then what we're going to do is, well, let's go out. And then we're going to put the next wall section up just like so. Get up here. Hmm. Glitched. Interesting. Okay, now. That will go here, and then that will go here. Then we're just going to repeat the pattern of the polished andesite, non polished, polished. And then, of course, oops. That'll go there. This will be all regular stone brick. And then our uh, obsidian sections. Now to finish this section off, let's get them done with the walls. Let's come out a little bit. Okay, so. We need another little section up here. So we have, now of course I don't have to use obsidian in these corners, but I'm going to anyway. So we can bring out the wall that comes up and around. So essentially we're just gonna bring that around like we normally do with everything else. And then that'll help create the top and hide the top portion of this section of the wall. All right, actually, you know what? What if, no. We'll leave that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Just me thinking again, guys. Let's get rid of all this. Get down. Get rid of all that. Okay. You can see how we look here. Alright. So we have that basic shape in place now. Now we need to get the X in place. We'll get that scaffolding block. Yeah, I know some people don't worry about getting the blocks. I do. So, now, to get the X in place, we're going to follow the contours of where we put these E's or 3's in place. So right just below the first stair, we're going to put in an upside down stair to start the system. Alright, let's get in front of this. One more, okay. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to go Jump up, place, place one on the back there, and then one more there. Do the same thing on this side. Jump here, squat, place, jump one more time, and then we're going to go solid block, solid block, and then just reverse what we just did. Like so. Simple, simple. Come on. And of course, to help make sure nothing spawns up here without having to worry about lighting or anything, we're going to put a, a stone wall right there, come down, and to keep it a little symmetrical and give it a little extra design, we're going to put one right there. And there's our X. All right, let me get the rest all in place, and then uh, we'll go from there. Right, now that all four sides are in place, let's get a little bit of uh, decoration and lighting down here at the base level. Uh, outside of the camera, I've already put in some lighting underneath. I'm using jack-o'-lanterns for, for right now because that's what I have available. The thing to remember when it comes to this lighting, the jack-o'-lantern placed one block below the layer we're using is the same lighting source as putting a torch on top of a block like this.
All right. So what we can do is, is put it down one block, put something on top of like a trap door, which is what I'm going to do, and that'll take care of the lighting up here without actually showing anything. Now, of course, we could also put it one block higher and just put a uh, gray carpeting down at the same time. But uh, I was trying to see about getting a little bit of a, a color change in here with all the gray and everything. All right, so the first thing I want to do is right around this edge here, we're going to chisel out the blocks and then we're going to take staircases and get this little indent into the floor like so. And we're going to do the same thing in front of the foot of the pillar sections <laughs> without falling into the hole. There's me falling in like so. And what we're doing is we're creating a little bit of just like a decorativeness because it doesn't affect us when we walk over it, of course. And then over here, we're going to keep the lighting here. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually put on top of a pedestal and we're not going to use a torch. We're going to use the lantern. We're going to do the same thing on this side here. And then we're going to take one to put one right here in the middle. And what that does is this lighting system here takes care of all the lighting on top of this platform. And the lanterns that are up here also help with ensuring that this is all lit up in here as well. All right, good, 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 good. So now let's take out these two top blocks here. All right, then these two here. No, no, I'm sorry, too much. Those actually go back in. <laughs> Don't mind me. Then one, two, three. That goes here, 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 here. And then what we're going to do is, I'm done with those blocks. So give me those, give me those, give me that, and give me that. Okay. So I'm going to take a polished staircase and put it here. Oh, go away. Polished staircase. Oh, that's supposed to be polished. Polished staircase there. Unpolished. Polished unpolished and then uh, that block can go and that one go and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the polished stone and go into a triangle formation except right there of course and then unpolished unpolished polished get that out of there with and I'm going to use the spruce trapdoor in place like so so our decorations now look like that out here so we can see a little bit better like this. All right. Now that we have the base decorated, let's get uh, something in the center here so we can uh, get some decoration in the middle here. All right. I've already got some um, cobblestone put up there because uh, I'm going to put a big center piece in here. And I also dropped in. I had some uh, extra lanterns, so I dropped in these four lanterns up here on top of these uh, brick fence posts. All right, so now what I'm going to want to do is I need to put a little bit more here because I'm going to I'm going to drop the ceiling down by a block there, and I'm pretty sure that's going to go there. So let me get to the outside, and we're going to take ooh, too far. <laughs> I'm going to take some of these granite stairs, granite, granite, whatever. However you want to pronounce it, these reddish color. And then what we're going to do is, let's get, let's not fall off like that. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about, me falling. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so let's get these up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start dropping the ceiling down. Like so. And then we're going to bring, up, bring it up around. Together. Good enough. All right, so that's going to come up and around here, and you're going to come up around there. Now, then what I'm going to want to do is I want to take the polished granite. It's going to go in the center here. A regular granite on the sides here, like so. Okay, and then we're going to take this polished staircase and put it underneath, just like a so. All right. So I need to do that with the rest. Okay, let's get down and into the center. So now what we look like, if I can get down here, initially coming down the center portion. Let's get up here so you can see what it looks like. 
All right, so you have an idea of how it's starting to look from here. Okay, good. Next, we're going to finish up this little section that we were doing right here. Okay, so I don't need technically that anymore. I need you to go here. You to go here. Okay, then I need one more here. Because what we're going to do is now, this is going to come down and it's going to be hanging. And to help support it, we're going to use support off of these X's on the outside. So we're going to come up from the bottom portion of the middle brick on each side. And we're going to build it up in one layer. Like so. Place it the right way. Yep, yep, yep. And of course the last one. And then we're going to switch back over to these uh, granite stairs. Come up around. If I can get in there. Oh, give me that. Come in. You're going to be a pain in the butt, aren't you? All right. It's the same thing here. Same thing here. And last but not least, same thing here. Now, we're going to continue by placing one here, 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 and then we're going to take a granite block, place it right here, so we continue this pattern underneath. And then we're going to go back up real quick to finish off this little detail section in which we need a polished one to go right here. I'm going to take these granite walls and place them in here underneath this unpolished block like so. And then underneath what we're going to want to do is we're going to take the last three and I'm going to need to go up just a hair. And it's going to go right here in the center like so. Okay, let's see how it looks from up top here a little bit. This is how it looks through the piece. Okay, so it looks from the sides a little bit. As you can see through the holes, get a little the texture differences and stuff, and then coming up from underneath. Okay, now add in a little extra color. We're going to do one of these little things now. I'm going to place a temporary dirt block right there. I'm going to take my grass block, place it right here like so. All right. That temporary block can go away. And then what I'm going to do is come up here because I'm going to take this sweet berry bush and plant it up here. And what it'll do is it'll grow up and the full size berry bush will actually will connect to the bottom of this wall. Now, what we're going to do from there is we're going to take a hopper and an extra block. So the hopper is going to go right there. Okay, that's going to be the bottom of the planter. I'm going to take some spruce trapdoors. We're going to cover up the block here, like so. So we have our planter. And then last but not least, we're going to hang some additional plants coming down. Now for my hanging plants, I like to use the jungle wood leaves. And then last two, like so. Okay, let's get this out of the way so we can see clearly what this is going to look like. All right, now granted, you have to let that grow up. Okay. So let's get up top. I gotta get that out of there. 
All right, so this is what it looks like from up top. We have the change in the color from the gray to the, you know, the gray night color. Of course, we've got the obsidian color in the background. And you can see just peeking out through is just the green color there. Same thing when we're down here is you have the change colors just like that. And then once the berry bush is grown up, you'll have that little bit of redness that's in the berries here as well. All right, so that, get that all out of the way. Get one good final look at it, and then uh, I got to decorate in here. So this is how we're looking right here, and now to the final decoration in the middle. Before we get into decorating the floor here a little bit, I just want to point out one thing where I dirt up. I had to take out the sections that were connected right here because when I light these portals. They won't light because you can't have anything in the way. So what I did was I took out the stone brick stairs and placed the last one that was right here uh, with a granite stair upside down so that when the portal is lit, it kind of looks like it goes through the portal. All right, guys, so uh, <laughs> that's just me being derpy. Hey, what do you want? Okay, let's get on to the floor and so we can be done with this. So, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the corner pieces. And then I'm going to take out this diamond formation here. And I'm going to leave in these two blocks in the corners, like so. All right, so then what I'm going to do is we're going to take our chiseled stone brick, put it in the corners, like so. And then, of course, take our brick stone walls, put it here, here. And we'll do the lantern thing. Now, the lighting down here was well enough to be uh, level 8 all around. I'm just doing this for kind of consistency sake. Why not? You know, um, I need something to help with the decoration in here a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this polished diorite, which I actually don't mind. Um, it doesn't look as bad as it used to, that's for sure. Uh, and then we're going to ring a diamond formation of this around like so. And then we're going to take the polished andesite and fill in these last few spots, uh, just like so. And for right now, I'm going to leave this here so I can get up and down until I move it or do something else. And I'll probably put in a non-polished uh, andesite block right there. So we'll see. So anyway, that's pretty much the floor done quickly decorated. It has a little, little color change and stuff like that. And if you look up here, you can now see the berries in the berry bush and how... The bush actually connects to the wall up there. So it's not like there's a big gap there showing, okay, it's just hanging in midair. All right, so let's take a kind of big, long look over here and see what we look like from out here. Let's get rid of you. Okay, let's get up real quick. You can actually kind of see the floor a little bit through the hole, like so. Okay, and let's light the one side and show you what it looks like all together. Uh, okay, it's probably gonna be laggy. Let's see what happens. Oh, not too bad. Good. Okay, so let's get rid of that screen so we can get a nice, good, clean look of what we're looking at. I think it looks really good. Let's get up here a little bit. Okay, we can see the floor. You kind of lose a little bit of the centerpiece a little bit. All right, but once of course, once we go inside, we still have this nice little thing from the inside look, like so. And like I said, of course, I mean, you just have to imagine that the piece goes through the thing and, and it connects. All right, so we're done with this part. Now, the top is going to be left alone because I, uh, what I want to do is once I have these towers here up in place. I'm going to probably connect the top of this section to each of these four towers here. So I'm going to leave the top alone for right now. I have an idea of what I want to do up there, but uh, I want to make sure I get, if I'm going to connect these or not, I want to get that done first and foremost. All right, guys. All right. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Y'all take care now. Bye.